Distinguish between bisexual and unisexual flower. Aim. Identify the parts of a flower and distinguish between unisexual and bisexual flowers. Materials required. Flowers of pumpkin, bitter gourd, papaya, petunia, cassia, hibiscus, forceps, needle, brush, blade, wooden board, and paper. Let's first study on bisexual flower. Take one hibiscus flower from the watch glass. Keep the flower on top of the wooden board. Cut the flower vertically into two halves using a blade. Take care not to cut through the pistil of the flower. Spread the two halves of the flower side by side using a needle. Place a white sheet of paper over the table. On the paper, arrange the two floral halves. Observe the parts of a flower. Using forceps and needle, tear off the petals longitudinally without damaging the carpel. You will also need a blade in addition to the forceps. Separate the individual parts and place them out on paper using forceps. Using the same, take out the stigma along with style from the carpel. Pull out the individual parts with the help of forceps and needle one after another. Observe and label each part of the flowers carefully. Observation We will observe different parts of the flower which includes both the male part and female part. Let's go through detailed study. Sepals The pointed ends are called sepals which are found at the bottom of the flower. The green sepals protect the bud of the flower. Petals Hibiscus have five petals which is together attached at the base. Every flower has multiple petals which differ in color depending on the species. Female reproductive organs Pistil The pistil is a long tubular organ which is a female part of the flower. Its function is to produce seeds and ovary. Style The stigma The stigma is where pollen is collected and it is at the top of pistil. In the middle is the style. This is the section where the pollen travels down to the ovary. During fertilization, pollen travels down to meet the ovules. In some bisexual flowers, after fertilization, the ovary develops to become fruit and the ovule develops to a seed. For example, in tomato, mango, brinjal, male reproductive organs, stamen. The male part of the flower is the stamen and is responsible for producing pollen. Anther are two tube-shaped objects that release the pollen. Anther is mostly found yellow in color. Anthers sit on a long thin tube called a filament. Together, these organs make up the male part of the flower known as the stamen. Similarly, a few other flowers have similar features such as cassia. Let's take the count of each whorl in cassia flower. The cassia flower comprises five petals. Stigma, style and ovary constitute pistil. Anther and filament constitute stamens. The small stalk-like structure supporting a single flower called pedicel. Petunia Let's observe the parts of a petunia flower. Flowers of petunia consist of female reproductive organs, stigma, style and ovary. Male reproductive organ consists of filament. Anther, it consists of five petals and sepals. Unisexual flowers. Let's see some examples of unisexual flower. Flowers of papaya, pumpkin, bitter gourd. Take both male and female papaya flower from the watch glass. Keep the flower on top of wooden board. Cut the male and female flowers vertically into two halves 
using a blade. Place a white sheet of paper over the table. Arrange all the floral halves on paper using forceps. Observe both the flowers. Using a blade, separate the male and female reproductive parts of a flower and keep them on paper. Observe and identify the parts of papaya flower. Observation Papaya flower Papaya has both male and female flower. They have five petals. Male reproductive organs Stamen Stamen made of anther and filament. Female reproductive organs Pistil The pistil is a long tubular organ which is a female part of the flower. The pistil consists of stigma, style and ovary. The stigma is where pollen is collected and it is at the top of the pistil. In the middle is the style. This is the section where the pollen travels down to the ovary. In unisexual flower, the pollination occurs from male flower to female flower. During fertilization, pollen travels down to meet the ovules. After fertilization, the ovary develops to become fruit and the ovule develops to a seed. Similarly, few other flowers have similar features such as pumpkin flower. They have five petals and five sepals. Male flower contains the male reproductive part, anther and filament. The female flower contains female reproductive part, stigma, style, ovary. After fertilization, the ovary develops to become fruit. Bitter god flower. Male flower contains anther and filament. Female flowers contain stigma, style and ovary. Both the male and female flowers consist of five petals and five sepals. Later, ovaries develop to fruit. Conclusion We studied about some of the flowers that contain both male and female parts in a single flower such as petunia, hibiscus, cassia. Thus, they are called as bisexual flowers. Flowers which contain either male or female part in single flower such as bitter god flower, papaya flower are unisexual flowers. There are many such flowers included in this category and you can find them in your surroundings.